coffee. Coffee now! As we've been reporting, a growing number of America's friends, including Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel, are expressing outrage over what's in classified documents that are being leaked by the former American intelligence contractor Edward Snowden. Revelations that the U.S. has been listening in on phone calls, reading emails of world leaders, again, including many friends of this country. Now there is a new published report that the NSA monitored the phone conversations of 35 world leaders in all. A senior White House official tells NBC News, quote, we are not going to comment publicly on every specific alleged intelligence activity, and we have made clear that the United States gathers foreign intelligence of the type gathered by all nations, end of quote. Now to more fallout over the NSA spying program and the news overnight that its website was shut down for hours. Kristen Walker is live at the White House with more on that. Kristen, good morning. Lester, good morning to you. Thousands of people are expected to march on the National Mall a little bit later on today to protest the government surveillance program. This comes as there have been new revelations about that program due to leaks by former NSA contractor Edward Snowden. Now, the leaks showed that the U.S. may have tapped into the cell phones of 35 world leaders. That has infuriated some of the United States' closest allies, including France and Germany. They are asking for answers. We know that German officials are going to travel to the United States in the coming weeks to speak with U.S. officials about all of this. Now, separately, the NSA's website went down for a couple of hours last night. Some people thought that it may have been hacked, but an NSA spokesperson told me late last night that that wasn't the case, that it was due to a technical glitch. Now, these latest revelations could potentially undermine the United States foreign policy, its efforts to deal with issues like Iran and Syria with its closest allies. Lester. All right, Kristen, thanks very much.